Hush, Mr. Thompson, don't say a word. Granny's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Granny's gonna tie you up with string. And if that string breaks in half, Granny's gonna cut you with a shard of glass. And if that shard of glass ain't sharp, Granny's going to strangle you with her face. We're talking with Jim Tymon this morning, Universal Orlando. Jim Tymon, you have a job that is uniquely suited to putting you at the center of things, if you will, for Halloween Horror Nights. What is that position exactly? Well, I'm a, the Senior Vice President of Entertainment uh, here at Universal Orlando, and essentially for Halloween Horror Nights, I kind of act as the executive producer. You're an executive in shirt sleeves, I note. Uh, <laughs> short sleeves, for that matter, already right. rolled up and ready to get into the creative process. Yeah, it's very much a, uh, a real-time, you know, working type of position. It's, it's not really an office job. You've got to be right in the middle of the creative process, right in the middle of the operational execution and production process, and that's where all the fun is, actually. I'd rather do that than be uh, behind a desk. The job's description right now sounds to me a bit, especially right now, a combination of uh, artfully controlled madness and herding cats. <laughs> That's a very accurate description. And as far as Halloween Horror Nights itself is concerned, it's a signature event. Tell us a bit about it, where it came from. What does it mean to Universal Orlando? Well, it's you know it's funny to talk about Halloween Horror Nights as an event because it's the, really this juggernaut that's unto itself now, 15 years later. This is our 15th year. And in the, in the first years, it very much was a small special event. We started with one haunted house. And now, growing to span an entire month, up to eight haunted houses and these incredible street experiences and shows, it's part of our brand. I mean, it really is acknowledged as the premier haunted Halloween event in the country. And it's as much part of our whole fabric as anything else in our resort. So it's grown beyond event into a living, breathing thing. But I mean, how do you do it? You wake up one morning and say... I'm going to be scary today, or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, it's an interesting creative process for Halloween because as we finish a year, as we, as we close an event, uh, we'll take about 30 days off for Halloween just so we can execute the Grinchmas event, and then we launch right back into the creative process again. So Halloween is about an 11-month-long process from first creative thought to closing night, and it takes a huge team, a very talented, dedicated, mentally twisted people to uh, pull it off. And that's uh, that's really calling on you to be the armchair psychologist, if you will. <laughs> it's, no, it's, uh, and, and I mean that with all due respect, to, because when you think about uh, how cathartic a good scare can be, I remember the movies that I used to go see. Mm -hmm. I remember the ones, uh, Frankenstein, the classics. Sure. could see those at home, and that was television. It was make-believe. You go outside, the yard's still there, tree is still there, Neighbors still there, all is well, but it's kind of a release. And that's one of the coolest things about Halloween Horror Nights that, that I love the most is that we go to great lengths to completely immerse people in the environment. You should step out of the real world and step into our world, which is not a nice place. It's incredibly frightening. It takes away a lot of what you perceive as your boundaries and controls. And it really, our goal is to transport you to this awful horrible place where you'll be scared half to death one second and then laughing at yourself for being scared the next second because ultimately it is safe we just want to create the illusion of great danger now the people who execute this how do you find them or uh, dig them up <laughs> dig up is probably a good word um, our creative team as I mentioned they uh, they're the best in the business these guys work almost year-round on this uh, particular event for Halloween Horror Nights and they've got incredible design backgrounds from architecture to scenic design to costume design to prosthetics and makeup, audio design. It's an incredible team. And we find them from everywhere. I mean, we'll, we'll have people who've been in the theme park business for 20 years to people who've just graduated from a design school or a college who come on with us and intern and then learn our business. And it's a great uh, bloodstream, for lack of a better word, that uh, people enter. And uh, we have a great time with it. Well, how is it? How many people do you find willing to uh, uh, you know, become undead? We find so many people, and so many people want to be involved. It, from the creative staff, which can number into the hundreds by the time we actually open the event, to the performing staff that executes being undead and, and creating the great environments, which number over a thousand. We have a huge audition process where we see 
literally thousands of people that want to be part of the Halloween Horror Nights experience. And then we also, throughout the year, have many people who want to join our creative team to be part of making it. Always, always with a theme every mm-hmm. year. This right. year, what have you got going on? Well, this year we've got the storyteller, who is an individual that spins these incredible tales. And the tale that she spun this year is this horrible place. Halloween Horror Nights this year is a, a bit different. We Every year we strive for fresh, new, creative product across the board. And this year we've created a world that you'll step into. All of the haunted houses, the, the experiences inside the houses, as well as in the streets, all tied together thematically in the story. This is a place that lives and thrives on carnage. Human bodies are their fuel. Blood is their water. And every individual you encounter, every house you go into, every experience is tied to that. There will be a haunted house, for example, called the Body Collectors. And that's the front-end processing. So people are taken to the Body Collectors, and they're processed from that point. And then the other haunted houses, the other street experiences, all feed off of that and back into that. So all spun together with a fine silk web. Yes, a, a fine web that hopefully... You'll, uh, you won't be able to escape from, because whether you're in body collectors and facing being processed and harvested, or whether you're in the demon cantina, which is where all these people go when they're off work. I mean, they've got jobs, they've got to process bodies all day, they have to go somewhere to relax. So you go to the places where they relax, which aren't, in your world, fun. To them, it's great. Then you might go to the, the mines, the terra mines, where they mine a lot of their natural, you know, raw elements and materials they need. And, of course, you'll find yourself in a very difficult situation of trying to survive being in that mine. And, like I said, all all of those experiences tie back, even to the school where their children go to school, which is not a place you'd ever want to be. So, it's again, it all supports the same storyline. And this year is really our first effort at taking the entire Halloween Horror Night experience and making it part of the same story. I keep thinking of the, the school, the three R's, reading, writing, and rending flesh. Uh, <laughs> That's good. I'll, oh, I'll use that. Thank you. <laughs> you, well, you, you. You've mentioned, of course, the schools. You've yeah. mentioned the haunted houses. You've mentioned uh, the, the place where uh, all the evil and uh, scare, uh, the scary and uh, mm-hmm. dark folk go to uh, you know, take a day off and relax and you know, kill some time for a change. Right. Uh, what are some of the other highlights of the park this year? The uh, street people... The street people are incredible this year because they are all the citizens of this world. Um, Right up to, I think, people are going to be just amazed with kind of the opening scenic statement. As you enter Islands of Adventure and come into the port of entry landing, you'll encounter a, a huge throne, for lack of a better word, where the queen of this world resides with her various minions and servants. It's not a pretty place because the welcome to the entire experience is essentially watching the queen's servants torture and rend bodies right there in front of you. Um, So the experience right there starts off and hopefully grabs you. And then it's carried throughout the streets. The street experience is the glue that holds all of the haunted houses and the experience together. We've got an all new Bill and Ted show this year, which for the Halloween you know, fans is a huge draw and a huge cult following. Bill and Ted's excellent Halloween adventure. Word on the street has it, and uh, <clears throat> street, yes, um, one thousand characters. One thousand characters. There are towns that don't have that many people. <laughs> well, essentially, we create a town. It's an amazing. The backstage process of Halloween Horror Nights, which people never see, is an incredible effort. You know, the the crew from makeup and costuming and prosthetics and special effects. Every night that mounts Halloween Horror Nights, uh, it's an amazing thing to watch. You know, a thousand characters going through costume and makeup and prosthetics. It's a factory assembly line process because it has to be, and it's great to watch. Oh, it's astonishing, too. And uh, you folks, again, this is the 15th year for it, 15th year. Right, yeah, 15th year. How do people get tickets to this? How do you, how do how do they come and have some fun? Well, it's it's easy to get tickets for it, but you got to hurry and get them fast because we have nights where we actually sell out. Absolutely, the best way to get tickets and information is through HalloweenHorrorNights.com. You can purchase tickets there online. You can see our days of operation, our hours of operation. Purchase your tickets right there, as well as learn the entire backstory of the event 
the website is interactive. It's got all of the information about the haunted houses, the scare zones, and what this world is that you're entering. It's a, it's a great, great way to start your Halloween Horror Nights experience. And, of course, there are you know tickets at the gate uh, as well. But as I mentioned, some nights we do sell out because of the popularity of the event. So it's great to get your tickets you know, now and early at HalloweenHorrorNights.com. And it's interesting to conclude noting that it's PG-13, definitely pushes the envelope, but boy, is it, it, it's cathartic. If, uh... Yes, it's extremely cathartic. And it is PG-13. It's definitely not an event for young children. Uh, but we find that's what our audience wants. They want more. They want us to push them. They want us to take them to that you know, very ragged edge of disbelief and scare and horror and then pull them back. And they know they're safe, they think, uh, in the back of their minds the whole time. And at the end of the day or the end of the night, it's a uh, chance to leave and go, that was scary. That was really, really scary. Got to do it again. Right. And you come right back. You buy a frequent fear pass. And you come back throughout the event to experience it over and over. Because you'll always find a new dimension, something you hadn't seen before, something you hadn't noticed. Literally, it is everywhere you turn and go. You will either be in one of our scare zones that exists between the haunted house experiences, one of the seven haunted houses, the Bill and Ted show, trapped in a maze. It's everywhere. And in my opinion, you've got to see it several times to actually get the full scope and breadth of the experience. Works for me. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. Anytime. Wasn't that a good story?